hey, I um, found this recursive way of getting all the file names in the C drive um, using recursive. Uh, we're going to walk the directory tree recursively. And I basically just took a large function and stripped it down to my likings. I don't, I can't remember, I don't, I can't write this out myself. I wouldn't remember it, but I do understand all the code and I'll go over it. Okay, so starting at the first line, global variable string collection, just a collection of strings, almost like a string array, um, except you can add, you can add what, you can add strings whenever you want. That's the good part about it. And uh, it's probably a bit faster than using a list, a uh, string list. It's bit, maybe it's a string list for itself, like a like a specialized string list. I don't know. Okay, so file names. Alright, so when we click the button here, oh yeah, the uh, skeleton. We've got one list box to um, list all of the uh, file directories and stuff that we don't have access to, and the errors. So there's our start button. So we're going to disable the form so you can't touch anything because I don't know how to thread. And we're going to get the startup path of the application. And we're going to get the root of that startup path using the path class. And that's going to be our drive. So we're going to create a directory info uh, according to that, that, that file path being our drive. And we're going to have the root of everything in this directory info. And next up, uh, the text writer object. That is, we are going to create a file name called, or sorry, we're going to create a file called file names.txt, and that's going to be put in this debug directory and list all of our file names. Okay, and here is where we start the process. Uh, walk directory tree. I'll get into that uh, right now. So, walk directory tree. Um, we're going to pass in the the root info and um, well at first it's going to be the root info but when we do the recursion it's going to be subdirectories uh, or directory info uh, okay we'll get to that so file info up top here um, that is yeah that's just going to get our files so we can print it, so we can, um, yeah, so we can get the names down here in the for loop. Okay, so we're going to get the files, we're going to get the file names. Well, it really doesn't only get the file names, it gets a list of files and it creates an object upon them. So file info array. And we're going to try this, if anything goes wrong, we're going to go down to this cache block and if it's an unauthorized access exception then we're going to print this message and directory not found exceptions then we're going to print the same thing just for this exception we're going to use e.message to get the exception message and print it up to the list box alright so this is that well this is going to happen a lot there's going to be a lot of directories that you can just can't access without upping your access upping your applications permissions and stuff like that and I'm, I'm not going to get into that I don't understand that shit so uh, if there is files so files is not equal to null um, that is our file info array so if there's file infos in our file info array then we are going to um, write the name to our string collection so this is just a for loop to loop through the file info array called file names. I used a for loop. I thought it was more appropriate than a for each. I think they're just a more efficient. I'm not sure. So I, I just did it anyways. You're looping through like over 100,000 files. on. For, for a programmer, you should have at least 100,000 files. Or else you're a noob. Nah, just kidding. So file names dot add dot files uh, so this is where we get the name of the file, the current file in the for loop, 
and then we're going to add it to the string collection file names. Uh, and then down here we get the subdirectories. This is created up top here. We get directory info array subders. And that is just going to get directory information for us about the subders of the top directory that we are on, which would be the root. Not necessarily not necessarily the root, but it starts off as the root. And then it becomes other directories. And then we get the subdirectories of that directory. And then we begin the recursion down here. So, um, okay. So for each directory info object in subders, we are going to call this function again with that directory information. This is where the recursion occurs, and recursion is a whole different um, a whole different lesson. Like it's pretty, it can get pretty intense. This is pretty simple recursion, so. You're just um, taking all the subders and the current dir dir directory that you're working on, and you're going to call those. You're going to pass those subders into this function again. So for each subdirectory in the directory that we're working on, let's call this again. Pass in that subdirectory. And when I mean this, I don't mean the form. I mean um, this function that we're working in. <sighs> okay, I think that should do it for the um, walk directory tree. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but we need to walk through the directories um, ourselves without using higher level code because we need to catch um, exception errors. I mean, sorry, ac access and permission errors or exceptions. And if we used any other code, the simpler code, we wouldn't be able to do this and we would, we would get no data. Um, Alright, so after we're finished uh, walking the directory tree, and all the recursion and all that, we want to go through all the strings in the string collection and write them to our file. So this write line writes um, the file names on their own line and then we close the text writer object then we'll, we're going to enable the form again okay what else is there file names right now I'm only getting the um, the identifier of the file name just like the save file name you may you may call it um, but if you want to get the full path plus the file name which is really what a file name is you want to go full name and that will get you the full name okay so let's uh, start this it's gonna take a while so I think it was only appropriate if I tried to thread it I tried to thread it it didn't work <laughs> I can never do threads so I'm gonna wait for this to finish Okay, so these are all the um, paths that I did not get access to. Their directories, and uh, it's usually uh, it's usually just uh, data uh, user data stuff, program data. Okay, so let's go to the debug directory. Take a look at this. We've got this file names um, text file. It's eleven. It's over eleven megabytes in size. So it's going to have a lot of files in there. A lot of file names. Okay, so we're starting. It starts off at the root. We've got uh, bootlog. Auto exe, very important files, system files, page file. And then we go into this that I did not know existed, recycle bin directory. That uh, looks important. And you've got program files, Windows. That is a lot.